Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this is a big ass can. Oh shit. We're gonna be drinking this today to support my alcohol addiction that I apparently have from what you guys say. I actually get a good amount of comments saying how bad of an alcohol addiction I have, which is like, I don't personally see it that way. Like the only time I drink is when I'm watching videos really like, I never drink outside of these videos if you're wondering. Every now and then I will, I'm like, okay, not gonna lie. Christmas, I had like 10 mimosas, but like besides that, besides like holidays, I don't drink besides those holidays. I actually got this for free. My brother just came in. He's like, hey, do you want this? And I was like, yeah, of course. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching a comedy today, and that is Pineapple Express. Now, you might be wondering, how have I never seen this movie? Well, it's actually kind of a funny story. Long story short, when I was eight years old, a movie came out called Step Brothers, right? And, and I saw that movie when it came out. I watched it because I was hanging out with my dad's girlfriend's kids and they were all like 16, 17, 18. There's three of them, you know, they were, and they were gonna watch Step Brothers. And I came in, I was like, what are you guys doing? What's up? You know, I'm only eight years old and I'm like, what are you guys doing? And they're like, oh, we're about to watch this movie. And I was like, oh, okay, I bet I'll join you. And that was the funniest fucking movie I have ever seen in my life up until that point. But my parents found out that I saw that movie and they were not happy about that. So they never let me watch Pineapple Express when it came out. They never let me watch Super Bad. They never let me watch anything like those movies. But then, so then when I became allowed to watch these movies, like it didn't matter anymore. I never really had like an interest in watching them. So I just never did. And I know this is like a stoner movie and personally I don't smoke. So it's like, I never had that connection to the movie that made me want to watch it, you know? But anyways, that's why I've never seen it. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as early access to the next movie I do. I don't know what it is at this point, but it will be on Patreon, so I'll probably put a text on the screen. But anyways, let's get started. Okay, Private Miller, you've been smoking item nine for seven minutes and 13 seconds. I'm going to ask you- <laughs> This fucking guy. <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> Bro, he can't, he's suited. <laughs> Great, this is the bee's knees, item nine. Private, we need you to be serious. I'm serious. Your dick, my mouth. Uh, fuck you. I've seen him. <laughs> Shut it down. Bury the hatch. Sell the land. And dispose of him. This never happened. Dude, what happened to your eye? <laughs> what happened to your eye? <laughs> this is General like Brad. We've reached a final. Oh, they offed him. Oh, that's why it's illegal. Okay. I'm just joking. You failed to show up for your divorce proceedings like four times under court order and. Nice oh, service people. Fuck, dude. Fuck that job. Hmm. You you here to fix the fax machine? No, I'm here to tell you, old Mastercard, four thousand sixty eight bucks. You got a real job, you fucking cocksucker. Yeah, everyone just hates you. The people you serve hate you, and they might even try and fight you, dude. Even though like, it's not your fault that they're being served. Dr. Edgar. He's a fake doctor. Property, and now because of that, you've been served. Oh, you're a jerk. All this goes, have you ever dealt with a drug dealer? It's terrible, it's weird, it's awkward. They kind of think they're your friend, but they're not your friend. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? What's he doing, what? I can't come. Why the fuck not, Dale? I just look, I can't come, okay? I can't, I just, I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. It's just, hey, people. Hi, Mr. Edwards. Can I help yeah. you? Yeah. I have a visitor's badge. That's why I ask. Um, uh, actually, with her, actually. My yeah. boyfriend. Mm hmm. I heard that. I wish I didn't hear that, <laughs> but I just heard that. So that's supposed Hey, Clark, how you doing, man? Yeah. What's up? I'm, 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 I'm good, bro. That's awkward. Today in drama class. Seriously, your Jeff Goldblum impression made me pee my pants. Seriously. Uh, I, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. What? Last week when we worked out, you forgot your shorts in my car. In a car? Okay, they definitely fucked. College, man. College. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's gonna be kick-ass. I will watch her back for you, because I know there's, like, tons of guys that are gonna be trying to get on that. Yeah, like him. No, I mean, I, I'll i watch her ass for... Good. It's trying to be nice. Um, I'll catch you uh, at home ec. Right. Okay. Oh, you got okay, why is he dating a girl in high school? Like, what? Like, bro, he should be in jail. But anywhere you like. Beautiful. What's it called? Pineapple Express. Mmm. Name of the movie. Cross. 
fuck is this thing? Ah. Same time. Really? And then the smoke converges, creating a trifecta of joint <laughs> smoking. The future. That's yeah. in the bag. Beautiful. OK. Adios. Hey, man, man. Let's smoke this fucking thing. I really, I can't, man. I gotta. I can't even light this thing. <laughs> yeah, I need to. Oh, you have to know. I'm in. Go on! These two ends okay. while I light this end. <coughs> How many people do you think made a joint like this after seeing this movie? I guarantee you, everyone that smokes that watched this movie made this. <coughs> Oh, dude, okay. Personally, I personally can't smoke weed or anything. I had the worst experience when I was 14, and it scarred me for life. Basically, long story short, what happened was my parents were out of town, so my brother had some friends over. Up until this point, I smoked, I only smoked like a like handful of times, maybe up until this point. And I was like, okay, it's cool, but like, I was never like super into it, right? But they were smoking grabs, and I was like, oh, what's this? And you know, if you know how grabs work, works or whatever, basically, they imagine like this, but like they had like a smart water bottle, and they like, if this was a smart water bottle, they cut it like at the very bottom. So they, they had the big ass smart water bottle inside this big ass tub of water. And they, the bowl they packed was literally like this much over the. Um, Whatever they put it in, I guess. It was a mountain. And what they did is they burnt it as slowly as possible. They burnt it and pulled the bottle, the water bottle up as slowly as possible. Just to milk it as hard as they can. And then they told me, like, yo, come hit this. Take all of it in as much as you can. Don't stop until all this you inhale all of it. And I was just like, okay, sure. You know, like I trusted them. And I do it, and they're like. They were like, inhale it and then go like this, like, like even after you hit it. And that's what I did. And then I, you know, I hit it and I was like, oh my God, this, okay, this hit me pretty hard just now. But then I was like, okay, cool. Like, that was cool. And then like, do it again, do it again. And I was like, okay, sure. Dude, they, they told, they made me do it like three or four fucking times. And I got like, okay, at first it didn't even hit me. And I was like, okay, like I felt high, but I was like, okay, like whatever. Then 10 minutes later, I just started spinning so fast in my head. It was like the fastest feeling of spinning I've ever experienced, even though like I'm physically not moving, but you know, when like you're really high or drunk, you start spinning in your head. It was horrible. It felt like a Gravitron times 10 and it wouldn't go away. So I was laying on my bed for like three hours, just staring at the steel at the ceiling because I just wouldn't stop spinning. I couldn't fucking stand. Like I had to be standing straight up and I couldn't balance because of how bad I was spinning in my head. And then that finally went down and I just threw up though. I started throwing up so badly. And the worst part was once I threw up everything out of my system, like I had no more food in my stomach to throw up anymore. I was just dry heaving and like I, that just never, it didn't go away for like four hours I felt like, and it was the worst thing ever. So, and now until this day, Every time I smell weed or try and smoke, I just throw up immediately. Like I can't, it just one hit, like one hit makes me want to throw up and it's horrible. So smoking is ruined for me. I'm gonna sell Percocet. Say anything about what Percocet. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Man, yeah, Percocets aren't cool, bro. I'm curious, what, do, what have those people done that you go and process and service? Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's always something different, I guess. This guy, Ted Jones, who knows, you know. The guy right, do I buy from? He gets his stuff from a Ted Jones. Maybe it's the same guy. That'd be weird. It's a pretty normal name. Yeah, it's, it's two very common names. First and last name. But it's probably gonna be the same guy for the sake of the movie. Watch, he's gonna go serve Ted Jones. It's gonna go horrible. And then because of James Franco, he's gonna run into Ted Jones again. And then Ted Jones is gonna be pissed at him. And then things are just gonna go horribly. The food's so nice, they named it twice. Oh, there's a cop. Stop smoking. Oh shit, uh, I see the guy I gotta serve. I'll call you back. Uh, she didn't even look at him. Where's she going? Oh, she's going in the house. But she just walked right into that house with her gun drawn. What the fuck is going on? Oh! Jesus. Dude. Oh, shit. Dude. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> Wait, that cop didn't stop him, though. Oh, that cop's working with him. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm not serving him. I'm, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm not even serving him. I don't care. Who the fuck is that? No! Nobody waiting to see. Uh, uh, Bro, cool. 
turn the wheel. <laughs> Just get that's so easy to get out of. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, pineapple Express, he knows. He's gonna know it's pineapple. Because it's the same dude. Pineapple dip. Express. Yeah, because it's the dude that works with James. It's the dude that James Franco's knows. So he's gonna trace it back to James Franco now. Oh, all right, man. Come on up. <laughs> I buzzed it. Open the door when I buzz it. Buzz it in three seconds, exactly. <laughs> One, two. Oh, my God. Do you have to do it the same? I've never used a buzzer, actually. <gasps> no, man. He fucking killed him, man. <laughs> he fucking killed him. <laughs> in the window at fucking Ted's house. Wow. Was the other guy Ted? <laughs> Aired man, and he had a robe, and he fucking took a gun and shot him, and his brain fucking flew over. <laughs> Oh, you threw up my printer. I did. So you saw Ted capping the competition. Hmm. Dude, I love James's demeanor. It's so funny. Did they follow you in? I don't know. Did they follow you in? I don't know. Look. No, he dropped a joint, and he knows that's connected to you. So he's coming here. And he'll be here soon. I tossed my roach. I, mm -hmm. I crashed. They're gonna. Are they gonna realize? So they would have heard. They must have heard. They know someone was out there. They know someone saw. They know to sit back, get ready to enjoy some of the rarest weed known to mankind. Is it really that rare? It's like the mm. rarest. Yeah, it's just about to realize. You the only guy in town who has this? You're actually mm. the only guy? Mm-hmm. I read said he was giving me an exclusive sneak preview. And am I the only guy who you sold it to? The other guy's got Snickle Fritz? Yeah. So we're like the only guys. Oof. I got this from Ted. Ted's yep. the man. Let's get the fuck out of here, man! Go! Go! Pineapple Express in here! Saul is the only guy who has Pineapple Express! He must have seen the murderer! No! Let's... Yeah, like, Ted's gonna know his own weed pretty well. <laughs> only Red knows, man. Who is Red? Red's like the middleman mm -hmm. between, like, Ted and me. Like, let's say Ted calls him and is like... Hey, did you sell the Pineapple Express to anyone? He'll be like, yeah, so it's all. Because why wouldn't he? You know? Oh, no, fuck the drug dealer. Are you saying you don't trust me? No, that's not at all what I'm... You know what? Ignore what I said. Call him. Give him a call. See what the... Oh, I thought he was trying to light the pickle. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Hello? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Danny McBride. Man, I, just, I just stubbed my toe. Be careful. Wear shoes in the house. Safety. Safety first, then teamwork. Wear your Crocs. Oh, you sold it to me. I would never talk to anyone about your, <laughs> the stuff that I that I do with you. So you're uh, you're coming by tomorrow. How'd you know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just heard you whispering to that other guy that you're right, Dale. Good job. Listen. So he says his name. Yeah, is that the Bubby that's on uh, 41st and River Street, the one where we where we played that uh, shuffleboard that one time? Mm -hmm. You got it. So listen. God damn it, James. Uh, noon it is. You know what Seth Rogen probably should have done? Adrenaline's pumping. Not really gonna think about this, I guess. I feel like it would have been a great idea for him to call the police and be like, yo, I was serving this guy, Ted Jones. He, I saw him murder someone in his house and he saw me, he saw me witness it or whatever. Because Seth Rogen technically didn't do anything wrong. Like he was smoking, but like in the, in the bigger picture, the cops aren't going to give a fuck about that. You don't even have to mention that if you're Seth Rogen. Just because I was waiting outside his house to go serve him. That's all I was doing, you know? And I just, and I saw Ted Jones murder this other guy. And then you'd be like, go to his house. The, I doubt they've cleaned it up by now. Like, that's a lot to clean up. You know, it's hard to clean up everything. I'm sure if you go investigate his house on the second floor by the window, they they definitely haven't cleaned it perfectly yet. You go check it. I don't know. Something like that. I'm overthinking it. It's three o'clock right now. It's supposed to be your reds at noon, man. What if he's gone? What if we don't get any? No, it's good you didn't go. So it's only two o'clock. Oh, no. I went for an hour. It's four o fucking clock. <laughs> Fuck me. He slept for like 18 hours. Yeah, how's that even possible? What the fuck? I feel like he's just reading his watch wrong. It's probably like 10 or 11 a.m. And he just has the hands mixed up. Like, he saw the minute hand on the three, not the hour hand. And yeah. Red will tell us that everything's fine and everything will go back to normal. How does that sound? How have they not... No, how have they not thought of that they'd go to Red? That Ted would send his boys to Red. Like, his Saul and Red are good friends and Ted knows that. Like, what? I mean, again, they're stoners and they're probably still high or something, so... <laughs> Thanks for the smooth sailing, Sheree. Oh, that's a unique. That's a cool way to hitchhike. So, what's up? Is, oh. <laughs> Who's this? I'm Dale, Mister. <laughs> you know, it's probably best if you don't know my uh, full Yo, name. Dale, Dale, yeah. don't worry, he's with me. Oh my God. Chilling. 
What's up with the clothes? Oh. Oh. I feel like Dan McBride is just like an older version of McLovin. You know? I'm crying. Oh, my. My lip. Uh, it's cold sore. Oh, they beat his ass for information. Do you know what today is? Tuesday. This is my cat's birthday. <laughs> okay. I would take my cat's no, birthday that seriously. Three months ago, okay? Oh, wait. So now who's the funny guy? Oh, RV. Maybe he went to heaven. He was a little fucker. He could have gone to hell. <laughs> Those are the best kind of cats, though. Love cats. Okay. Has anyone called asking about Saul or the Pineapple Express or anything? That's all we need to know. Uh huh or uh uh. It's uh uh. There it is, man. Cleared. Everything's fine. I told you, bro. We had a f wacky night in the woods, but we both can put that behind us like a dope. And Red's trying to stall to keep him here so Ted's boys can show up while they're still here. Sorry, I was saying we got we have plenty of time to hang out. Don't you follow his lead and just chill out, man. Thank you. Well, I don't know if I like you either, man. Well, that's your loss because I'm a great friend. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm gonna use my wife, okay? Give her a call. I will. Go ahead. Don't pay attention to what I'm saying. Bullshit! It's calling. Yeah, it's calling Red. I don't know. He's calling. He's calling Ted's boys. I knew us, man. He Give is lying to us. Phone. No, he's no. not. He knows my name. He knows my name. He's Talk acting weird. You're no. paranoid. He's acting weird. I'm not. Red, I'm sorry, bro. I'm not oh. 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 I don't want to have to do this. Ah. 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 Red, you're crazy, man. You're about to die. I know we are. That's why he sucks. He was a mess. <laughs> Toilet. Flush. It's not gonna flush. Eternity. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. 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 I mean, the phone's ruined. It won't definitely. It shouldn't work. You gotta break the door. Are you gonna pay for it? Fuck no. <laughs> oh, dude, this is. Bro, he should be dead. Red should be dead after that. No. Time out. Time out. Time it. Time it, bro. Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Red. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Where are you going? <laughs> Stick your finger up his butt. Oh, help me. Help me. It's punching my butt. Punching your butt would not, would not hurt. Use words. Oh, double oh. ankle lock. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, you can ankle lock someone from that angle, from behind them like that. You need their feet pointed up. No. Oh. Was that too much? Yeah, probably. Nah, he's not dead. The edge. What? This is so extra. <laughs> Maybe we could just convince him to kill himself. <laughs> Bro, I feel like that. Like they put so much duct tape on him in the wrong areas. It's not gonna do anything to keep him down. I'm gonna flex and bust out of here. Mhm. Mm oh no, you can't. It's not happening, Red. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll talk. Ted Jones. He knows you witnessed the murder. He he found your roach. He uh. They're basically out to kill you guys. Yeah, and they're gonna kill me too unless I turn you all over. How many cops does he have on his payroll? Tell us. Uh, well, there's the woman cop, Carol, and uh, it's a lady cop. I don't know. He mm. could have a bunch. Yeah, the one, the one in his house. What else? Okay, he, he's at he's at a war right now with with the Asians. They're like in a drug war right now. What, what Asian? The Indians are technically Asian. It's true. What Asian? Ding dong. Hey, Rick. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, okay, ask if either of them were Asian. What's skin color, buddy? They were white people. Uh, Denton might have been a Jew. I don't know. Dale Denton, not Asian. All right, kill Red. Oh. <laughs> Matt said you got British knights on. I ain't seen anybody wear them since 1987. Oh! Damn. Well, how about a little fucking discretion here? <laughs> God, man, you shot me in my stomach. <laughs> I'm gonna die now, probably. This is how you do me. <laughs> Damn. Saul mentioned something about going to the casino. The Asians own the casino, Ted. No, it's not connected like that. I have everything there is to know about. Oh, they're hearing everything. Oh no, wait, that's fucking. Oh my god, I love this guy. I love that guy. I don't know his name in real life, but he's so fucking funny. Mr. Chow from uh, The Hangover. Oh my god. I'm going alone. What? No. Yeah. Yeah. No, I want to meet Angie. You'll be I'm back. Okay. Thanks. All right. Just be yourself. Bro, they're gonna ask why he's dirty and just they're they're probably gonna be like, why the fuck are you like 32 dating my daughter? Actually, that's what I would say. I was the dad. What the hell happened? To Nothing. You? I'm supposed to be here right now, so I'm here. You're all dirty and bleeding. You smell like shit. I, no, I don't. Look, I'm gonna come clean. I witnessed a murder. Damn, he's actually telling them. 
following me. And there's a good chance they went to my apartment where Angie has a lot of things. Okay, if I'm the dumb, I'm, I'm cutting him off. Be like, why the fuck did you come here then? I mean, you didn't want to be rude and stand them up, but like, still. That's what's we so can't call the flipping police. scary. They were the, they were the murder. Oh, and sounds insane. You what do you do something where I'm going to so prematurely evacuate? Are you hot? But it sounds great. Hi. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's happening. Oh my god. 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 Oh my Put down the gun! You assholes do exactly what I say or I will take you outside and fuck you in the street! No! Don't do that! Don't fuck us anywhere! <laughs> hey, the fool's still warm. Ew, why would you put your hands in it? We made it! We're all safe, guys! We made it! What are you doing? Get the fuck out of my car! I can't even believe you think that would be an option! <laughs> oh, I thought the bears were in the front of the car. <laughs> You guys safe, I promise that I'll keep you safe. Fuck off, loser. <laughs> you know, we both know that you sent one of your uh, very skilled hitmen over here last <clears throat> night, and I... Mm, this is gonna start a war, because he's, he's making accusations. Nah, he's gonna send his ops after Ted now for accusing him. Okay, stop it, or you're asking for war. Do you want a war? Yeah. Fuck your mama. Head out of your ass and be ready for everything! You are fucking dead! Okay, Ted, damn. You're so dumb. Yeah, that was Do you have any idea how weak you just made us look? Yeah, like that was a horrible. God season. damn it! Ted Jones, tonight, we should strike now with full force. Your brother's death will not be in vain. Mm. Aww. This is gonna go so bad. The kids got busted, huh? Don't you move, this shit hurts. <coughs> Don't oh, it's a tweet. It's a joint. It's a road. Now nah, she just caught him. Look, oh, selling man. narcotics to my students. It's oh, students walking from back here with their eyes as red as the devil's dick. <laughs> oh no, Saul's gonna. He's not. Oh, he's gonna. Saul's gonna fuck this up. Oh, big sexy with glasses. <laughs> Date on fugitive Dale Denton. I repeat, requesting update okay, on. Hit and run. So, yeah, so that cop. You have her. So you telling me you saw Ted Jones and a police officer shoot somebody? That's exactly. Mm hmm. Oh, I think I know who that bitch was. <laughs> <laughs> Watch. Seth Rogen's actually going to get to her, and then James Franco's going to fuck this up. Works for me. I promise you, I've been smelling okay, something in this. Bro, pay attention to the road. The bottom okay, of this shit. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. 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 He's going to steal the car. No, no, no. Wait, saving you, no. amigo. Don't worry. No. You yes. do it. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was bad. What? That's the lady. What do you mean? Then who's that? I don't know. It's not working! Don't kick out the window, isn't that what they do? No, don't do that. No! Don't no! Do no! Oh my fuck. fuck, I think I pulled my groin! Okay, first of all, first of all, I don't I don't think you could kick out a regular windshield. He's getting out! Oh my god, he's driving his leg up. Like, kicking out a regular windshield, I feel like would be really fucking hard regardless. And cop cars, don't cop cars have bulletproof windshields? So, I'm surprised he even got his foot through it. Oh wait, I guess he got hit by it, so it cracked it a little bit. I don't know. So it softened it up a bit since he got hit. Hey, I can see through my leg hole! Hey. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ah! Ah! I'm shocked he hasn't crashed yet. Oh shit! Go, 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 go! No! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. Fuck oh shit, I'm sorry, I thought you'd just go fast! Why? I don't know! Well, I mean, typically, yeah, if you're both going hella fast and you break, they don't realize you break, so they just keep going, you know, but she... Oh, 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 oh. Fuck her. But they weren't going that fast to begin with, so it's like she had time to react. I guess, I don't know. Right, right, man. Amigo, let's no! get the fuck out no, of here! No, what are you doing?! You forgot me, you idiot! Come back! <laughs> yeah, he can't get out. He can't get out. Now. 
Wait, okay. She shot through the wind, like the the shotgun window, like with one bullet. Like, or do cop cars not have bulletproof wind uh, windows? I'm gonna Google it. Or is that just for the sake of the movie? Do standard police issue cars have bulletproof windows? No, they do not. Okay, never mind. I'm wrong. Okay, I was, I was wrong. <laughs> bulletproof windows are impractical. They're heavy, adds weight, slow cars down, forces you to use more gas, brings up the cost, I guess. And plus, they can't be rolled down. Okay. I thought about that. Like, you can't roll the window down if it's bull. It's a UFC fight on. What fight is that? I don't know. But you can't roll the window down if it's bulletproof. But then I thought about it. I was like, I've never seen a cop car with a window roll down. I use a bong. It filters out the addictive shit. Seriously. I feel like that's not true. Between us, this is normal. This happens to every couple who's been dating for three months and we just have to work through it. No, it doesn't, Dale. This doesn't happen to anyone. It sh I should not be in this situation, so fuck you. You know what? It's over. Good. Mm. Fucking shins, and you'll blow a bunch of dudes, and you'll become a lesbian, and I'll be here in fucking Clark County. Jesus. Why do you never act like you care about anything? Because I'm high! F <laughs> I think that was GSP fighting, actually, on the TV. I don't know who he was fighting, but I think, I think that was GSP. Now, I was, like, stoned when I saved you with those slushies. If you had saved me. But you didn't save me. She was gonna help us and you made things worse. Now we're wanted for all sorts of fucking crazy shit. Don't it's retirement. Oh, oh yeah, she must be proud of you for that. She is really proud of me. And if she dies, I'm gonna become a civil engineer. I'm gonna design. No, you are an asshole. That's all you are. You're an asshole. Mm -hmm. I'm no pretty, pretty sure that I'm not an asshole. Yeah. I'm like a totally nice guy. How about in the park when I said that you were my friend? You didn't say anything back. Mm. Well, that's easy. It's because we're not friends. I would have no idea who you were, and I would be fantastic right now, instead of looking like this. Damn, this is a breakup. It's oh, out, man. bro. Monkey's out of the bottle, man. What? Yeah. That's not even an expression. <laughs> what are you doing? Here. Have a nice last meal. Come on. Don't do that. Why don't you supersize it, bitch? <laughs> Sorry, man. Look, come back. No. I didn't mean that. Well, they're gonna need each other later on in the movie, so they'll have to work. They'll have to see each other again, and they're gonna reconcile. You know, it's how this typically goes. They're gonna be like, "I'm sorry," you know, "It's all good," you know, something like that. Living, but you're living. <laughs> He's crying. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry, Angie. Yeah. Angie, I'm calling because I love you more than. Please, I love you. <laughs> you yeah I, I just tried to lose you Dale. I was we were driving away from the house and I just kept thinking I, I want to marry you oh I, don't know about, oh, I <laughs> made a mistake what do you mean? I have what I'm just processing that last bit <laughs> yeah I was about to say he's like wait what sure you don't see what a fuck up I am I'm in no shape to be dated by anyone oh my god I'm not immature, you're immature. I mean, I am somewhat immature, but you're more immature. I'm older. Ugh, you're just old. Really? How many girls have you even slept with? Like two and a half. Two and a half? Two and a half. half, your hand? That no, doesn't count. No, it was I dipped a ball in. I can't remember why. I just remember thinking, this doesn't count. Just get me out of this motel room. I will, and that's the last you'll ever hear from me, okay? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank God. Your grandson. We need you to get on the phone with your grandson. What are you talking you about, like my grandson? You don't always. Oh, oh, oh no! I thought I thought he was about to pour that hot coffee on that gra on his grandma by accident, because he was about to dodge it, and then the grandma was behind him. Oh, that would have been horrible. Is that something there? And I, I believe that's a mole, ma'am. <laughs> it's on my grandma. <laughs> Started it, man. I don't even want to be here. Oh, oh shit, did I do that? Oh, oh, oh. oh. What's down there? Right there. Fucking rancor. <laughs> Fucking rancor. I got a lot of feelings. <laughs> and you hurt damn near every one of them. <laughs> oh my god. El Dorado. Oh, wait, is that the same bunker from the very beginning of the movie? I think it was. I think it is. Red! Mm. Oh, Red's not dead yet. Get out of here, man. I didn't do shit. Where'd you get the neck brace from? Cause I'm tired, man. I'm feeling so hot. Yeah, you're probably, you should be dead, bro. You probably have internal bleeding. Shot me right in your stomach twice. You, you really should be dead by now. And I'm gonna get him back. You know, like he mm. saved my life. We've been on the run together and he's a great friend. He's a good guy. All right, we gotta go save Saul. 
Oh, is a good dude. And I was mean to him, man. I wronged him, and I can't. I can't. I feel like Seth Rogen's gonna get the other drug dealer that'll pull up on Ted and save Saul. Like they're gonna like he, Ted started this war, so, and they said they're gonna like um, press him or whatever with full power. So like, come here. Ted. Hell yeah. Don't. Don't. Just something quick like that. Yeah. That was so slow. The other drug lord's gonna show up. I can't do this. I'm sorry. It's all fucked up. I need medical attention. What do you mean you can't? I, thought... I got a wife, man. She's gonna be out of jail soon. I wanna fuck her. I wanna have sex with her. I'm gonna wake up murdered tomorrow. Oh, man, no. This I'm is really lame sorry. Oh, fuck you. Please come Damn. back for me. Please come back. Please tell me where my friend is for this guy. Bro, there's Seth. There's so many more of you. More of them. There's so many more of them. Like. All right, everybody, just chill. Oh, oh my God! I have been an asshole, man. I realize I'm lucky to have you as my best friend, man. You're the best guy I know. BFFF. Best fucking mm -hmm. friends forever, man. Seriously. Pinky promise. I'm gonna get us out of here. No, you're not. But it's okay. <laughs> we can hear you outside, and it's very fucking annoying. All right? Okay. <laughs> Fuck. This Yes, okay, I got an idea, I got an idea. My belt buckle, my belt buckle. They, they can still hear you, dog. He's gonna come back in and be like, bro, we can still fucking hear you. Yeah, oh, oh is it working? God. I can't feel it. Yeah, I can't feel you. Oh, wait, I feel, <laughs> no. I feel it a bit, yes, okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm gonna save you, man. Yeah. He's gonna hear this. Okay. I'm gonna save you, man. Yeah. I'm gonna save you. Yeah. You're my best friend. <laughs> fucking Pete, he was ex-CIA. Fuck is this Dale Denton? Yeah, dude, like to them, to the cop, and oh, oh, they're here, they're here. Okay, well, to the cop and uh, Ted Jones, Dale Denton seems like a fucking a mercenary, but like, no, he's just, but he's just a regular dude. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, they okay, they, they got on. I can hear everything you're saying out there. One call for me, and you go. <laughs> yeah. Fuck them. Best friends forever. Y'all fucking your own time, man. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Bro, no fucking way. No way. It looked like he shot him in the face, but he probably shot him in the chest. And he's probably wearing a bulletproof vest. Damn, that hurt. I got glass in my ass. Damn. Oh. <laughs> he's in the he's right here. I hope Mr. Chow is the one that saves Dale and Saul. That'd be so late. Cause like Mr. Chow, he basically just plays the same character in every movie, or like an iteration of the same. Oh, see, he's alive. He got your ear, man. He got my what? Fuck! Ow! Ow! Fuck! You killed my ear. You shot me. I didn't do that. He shot me. I kind of hope he lives though. <laughs> I feel bad for him. Um, maybe if we just hold it. Uh. Ew. No! I'm jumping as high as I can! Hey, Dad! Oh! I'll get out! I'll get out! Is Red gonna come back though? So you're right now, you're not gonna jump. You're not gonna jump. Oh my fuck, bro. What are you fucking Spider Man? <laughs> you think you're Spider Man? <laughs> okay! Uh. Uh. not work that would not work oh i don't know actually that would hurt very bad. if they do a hell of fucking hard ah! no no not mr chow fuck, oh, you. Mr. fuck you fuck the police bro how do you miss oh i just yeah why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Shit. You're in the jungle now, baby. Shoot him! Shoot him, you dumb fuck! I'm hungry. Uh, it's time. I'm going home. Yeah. Damn. I knew you going soft. Dinner's gonna be cold tonight, asshole. Fucked up, man. Well, looky here, Mr. Folgers. You know what? This is how it's gonna be. All right. This is how it ends. 
So, dude, that's a fucked up way to die. Like me now, huh? Dude, <laughs> blew his foot off. Yeah, I remembered, man. Bro, kill the cop, kill the cop. Bro's before host. Great, kill the cop. This is my moment. This is your moment. <laughs> oh! I saw it coming, come on. Oh, it's a bomb. Son of cocksucker. Mm -hmm. Balls, two times. <laughs> How much time? Bitch! It's not, oh. That oh, wasn't that big of a bomb. Oh, yeah. All the weed! Oh, everyone's gonna get a lie! I don't know, would it work like that? Oh! Yeah! <laughs> See ya. I know, J I know Dale jumped in. No way he should be alive. There's no way. Sorry, Ted. Well, Ted's dead. <laughs> You've been served. <laughs> you had to do it. <laughs> You're on fire, bro. You're on fire. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! That's so all you made it! What, what happened? Oh, Red's not. Oh, okay. Somehow Red survived. The he survived, well, like gunshots and survived the explosion somehow. Okay. Red. That's cool. The three of them survived. Hello, you're listening to PPR PPP. I am Dale Denton. The topic of the day. Oh, he's on the radio. Good for him. Is Saul's design buildings now? I I fucking hope not. But a D in the face. Dale Denton. Yeah. Oh, uh, they're just pretending. Never mind. Be best we should be. You guys are Seriously, my best friends. We shared a moment. You guys were like both of my best friends, and you didn't even know it, but now you know it, and we'll all be best friends. You know what we should get? You know those hearts that break? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The car chase is That's pretty awesome. Fuck you guys got no fucking car chase. Yeah. Awesome. Are you fucking cool. kidding yeah, me? You gotta yeah, eat. Wild. You gotta yeah. eat. Yeah. You're losing stuff. Yeah, how is he not dead yet? Red? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Yo, Red, man. Ooh. Oh, I'm no, not... he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> it's okay. We won't put oh, our things oh, in your shit. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what? Me too. I should get the ear. Yeah. yeah. Oh, where's your go? My ear. We should probably get oh. a professional. It is. Oh, they're just not going to pay? Oh, okay. yeah. <sighs> well, that was Pineapple Express. All right. So that was Pineapple Express from 2008. That was a hilarious movie. Great comedy. James Franco and Seth Rogen are amazing together, you know. I haven't seen every movie they've been in together, but we've watched two for the channel now. We've watched the interview and now this one. I know they have This Is The End with pretty much the same exact cast with James Franco, Seth Rogen, Craig Robinson, and then like a bunch more too that's, that weren't in this movie. But in most Seth Rogen movies, you know, it's Seth, James, and Craig. Like they're mostly them three are in the Seth Rogen movies. Wait, was James Franco in Neighbors? Wait, no, Dave Franco was in Neighbors. Eh, I guess that counts. Oh, and Danny McBride, too. Um, what other Seth Rogen and James Franco movies together? Oh, Sausage Party. Yeah, okay, wait. Sausage Party is the end of Pineapple Express. Knocked Up, The Interview, Neighbors 2, The Green Hornet. Sorry, so that's the night before. Oh, yeah, we did the night before, too. Zero Veal, The du Indubious Battle, The Sound and the Fury. Okay. I only recognize really Sausage Party knocked up this is the end the green hornet yeah let me know if you want me to do any of those for the channel haven't seen sasha's party or this is the end or knocked up because like same thing same thing as i said in the intro i just wasn't like allowed to and then by the time i got old enough i just didn't really have any interest in it this movie is not appropriate for kids but if i had a kid and they were like 10 and they watched this i wouldn't be like mad i'd be like oh well, okay like whatever you know don't don't repeat anything you heard in the movie but like whatever i wouldn't be too mad if they saw it to be honest like this, I've seen a lot worse than this, to be honest. Like there's a lot worse movies than this one. So, but yeah, that was Pineapple Express. I'm glad I finally watched it. It was a great movie, a great watch. Hope you guys enjoyed. So comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.